Hello everyone, this is Vinay Jaiswal and welcome back to my YouTube channel Knowledge Circle. On the request of one of my viewers, I have chosen this topic again and today I am going to teach you all a Java program based on a Java program based on if else the conditional statement how to use if else in the program we will learn today so without doing delay let's begin our program see if else is what it is a conditional statement where a condition has to be given and if the condition is true then a set of statement gets executed if the condition is false another set of statement get executed so first of all we will see the syntax of if else then we will move further to the program okay so we will be watching the syntax of the program and then we will move further syntax how we write if else first we write if keyword then we give a condition there a condition has to be given then after the condition the set of statements will be there that has to be executed if this condition is false, then some other set of statement gets executed. If true, if it is true, then this. If it is false, then this. So a condition has to be evaluated according to the uh, condition the statements will be executed. So this is called if else syntax. So let's move to the program. Let's learn how to use this if else in our program. So I will take uh, an example. I will take an input and then that number we will check. The question, let me write the question. A program to check whether An entered number is even or odd. So we will ask user to input a number and we will check whether the number is even or odd. So here we will also use the modulus operator. So you, two things you will uh, see here. You will learn about if else also and you will learn the use of modulus operator too. So let's start the program. So first of all, to make input program, I will take this util package, import java dot util dot scanner. Okay, means I'm including the util package and of the util package, I'm including scanner class in my program because I want to create the object of scanner class so that I can accept the input from user. Then it's time to uh, create a class. Let's create a class because we are taking even odd program so we can write odd class odd. Then we need to write what? The main function that has to be declared publicly, statically and there will not be any return type. That's why we are writing here main and then we have to write the argument that has to be written string args okay then after the include uh, inclusion of main function we have to uh, do what we need to create an object of scanner class so let's create an object what we have to do we have to write scanner class let's create an object we can write sc anything else it's an identifier then after new then we have to again mention the class name and then as an argument system.in has to be passed. Okay. Then after our object is created, let's create variable. Uh, because we have to check whether a number is even or not, we need to have an integer value. So we will write here integer n. We will write here integer n and uh, then after we will accept it. How we will? First of all, let's print a message to the user. Uh, system dot out dot print ln enter an integer number okay so there is a message I am giving to user okay 
when the user watches this message, the user is going to uh, give a value. What you need to do is you have to accept this value. And for that, we will use next int method. And by next int, uh, next int will do what? It will receive the value and it will throw the value. To catch that value, we have a variable that will be an and n will store it. It's time to check. It's, it's time to check whether this value is uh, even or odd. Our input in which variable? Variable n. Now, let's put here if. If n is. How to check whether a number is even or odd? We know even means a number which is divisible by divisible by 2 that is even otherwise odd okay so how to check whether a number is uh, completely divisible or not there is no remainder and for that remainder we have a special mathematical operator that is called modulus operator what does it do it gives us remainder it divides and just return the remainder and if we check there is no remainder, it means that number is uh, completely divisible. So we will write here divis uh, modulus operator for checking that because it is of 2. And if there is no remainder, then for equality, we have an operator that is called equal to operator. This is a relational operator. Put here 0. Okay. So this is the condition. Once again, I will uh, explain this condition. The number has to be divided by 0 and if the remainder is 0, sorry, number has to be divided by 2 and if the remainder is 0, it means that number is completely divided by 2, there is no remainder, it means that this number is even. So we will write here in massive system dot out dot print ln the number is the number is even you can write here a message can be printed after that you write the else part you can write in else part no need because already if the condition is true number is even if this condition is false the number is odd so we need to just mention here that system dot out dot print okay the number is the number is odd with this our program will be over so uh, if else part done then close the main function and then close the class so this is a program we have based on if else i hope you have got it you have understood and if you have any other queries and questions please let me know uh, through the comments i will work upon it i will take care of it thank you everyone like share and subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest